Uh, Pete, thanks for joining us. And uh, mate, let's talk a little bit about you. I know you love talking about yourself. So uh, tell us how you got involved in tennis. Um, started playing when I was probably about five or six, and uh, just started playing with my older sister. I've got two sisters, uh, Aggie and Ola. Um, older one was three years older than me, and we used to just ride our bikes down to the local tennis club when I was about five or six, and we used to just play on the old onto car court down there, and we just used to play for uh, you know whoever lost had to bag the court or get the crappy bike to ride back home with, and uh, yeah, just kept playing and. Um, Started getting a little bit better when I was 12, 13, but not really good enough to get any of the, into any of the state squads or uh, McDonald's squads as it was back then. But I uh, kept, kept at it, and uh, next question. Do you remember your first tournament as a professional, when you got your first ranking? Uh, yeah, it was during my um, junior at college, so that's my third year, and I was just away. Uh, took an overseas trip to got the three months off over summer so I was in Europe playing a few money tournaments and also I played one future in uh, Istanbul, Turkey and that was probably one of my uh, highlights in my career. Uh, just getting that first point I just remember it was such a relief because before that you never know if you're going to get into the quality draw or not so just getting that first point knowing that I'd be able to get into most quality draws and at least have a go was a you know big highlight for me. Talk about that being a highlight. What are some of the um, biggest thrills you've had in tennis? And uh, do any matches stand out that uh, you ne you'll never forget? Um, Davis Cup is always a big highlight for me. Being the first time um, in a Davis Cup team, I wasn't a, in, a, in a team, but I was just a hitting partner. I think I was pretty old to be a hitting partner, but I was about 23 at the time. I was. Uh, we, we had a tie against Argentina and Argentina and it was the first time I got to meet like Scott Draper, Todd Woodbridge was there, um, Wayne Arthurs and Andrew Willey. So just hitting with those guys and getting to know Fitzy and uh, Wally Masul was a big thrill for me. I remember Fitzy giving me a call while I was at a challenger in Hawaii the week before just saying you want to come be the hitting partner and I, I didn't even think he knew what who I was so I, I thought it was one of my mates just uh, putting it on so I didn't believe him but then I think he finally after about five ten minutes trying to convince me that it was Fitzy I realised it was a real thing so um, yeah Davis Cup's always pretty special to me uh, playing here at the Aussie Open um, also I've got some good memories had one match against Ollie Rockus was in the second round that was about four or five years back now uh, beating on Margaret Court with a court pretty full of us. That was quite enjoyable as well. And Just one last question from me. Um, what, <laughs> what piece of advice can you give to all these young players in the room who want to be one day where you're at? Um, what's the best advice you can give them to help them achieve their goals? I don't, I don't think there's one sort of key ingredient to becoming a uh, successful tennis player, but for me, I think you just got to. I've just sort of always just hung in there and always believed I could do it. I don't think there's any timeline or time frame how and when you're meant to uh, achieve certain goals. I think everyone's different. I know I didn't get my first ATP point till I was 21, 22 years of age. So, you know, as long as you believe you can do it, you can work hard, there's no real, no really tricks to becoming a, a top tennis player.